Hey guys, Titan here, and welcome back to Condemned 2. Ethan, your chest x-ray shows you do have vocal cords similar to Van Horn's. But even more bizarre. I'm related to Van Horn, is that what you're saying? The thought crossed my mind. However, I was able to confirm that you do not share blood with that family. Hmm. That's comforting. But you still think I'm connected somehow? Yes, I do. This seems kind of crazy, that's all. When you land, search the lodge thoroughly and learn as much as you can. It's been abandoned for decades, but I have a hunch both Van Horns were there recently. Hmm. <sighs> How much time we got left? Hey, buddy, did you hear me? Um. We don't have much time, so I'll get right to the point. Your old boss, Pharaoh is trying to protect you. Have you taken a moment to contemplate the meaning of this? He's the one that hired you. Hmm. He guided you through the ranks of SCU and has kept a close watch on your career. Perhaps he's done this under false pretenses. He may have ulterior motives using you. Something to think about when choosing your hmm. friends. Perhaps. Uh, buddy, where did you get your pilot's license? I mean, honestly. Oh, great. Fucking fantastic. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I think we're hosed. Oh, hello. More birds. Seem to be a bit of a theme in this game. Or did that actually not happen? I guess, uh, Xbox? You, uh, you alright over there, buddy? There we go. Yes, we got the GPS, uh, enhancement, which, ugh, meh. I wouldn't be surprised if we never use that. I mean, maybe once or twice, but it's not that great. Ooh. Do you really expect to find anything out here other than a cold death? Cold death? Hmm. Right, we had a bit of a false start there. Um, one second. Do you really expect to find anything out here other than a cold death? A cold death, you say? That sounds fun. I mean, not really that much fun. Now, let me restart my timer. Because uh, we had a bit of a false start there. Uh, the game crashed. Which is fantastic. You know. Don't we like it when that happens? Well, I don't know how our pilot friend over here managed to get outside of the plane. But uh, we're not going to question that. Let's just say a wizard did it. That's generally what happens. Anyway, let's continue. This is actually quite a long level. Uh, it's one of my favorite levels as well. Really, really cool stuff. Ooh, dear. Mr. Thomas. Hey, buddy. This is How are you? Going there alone was not mm. a good idea. Ooh. Time you level with me. No bullshit. Yes, yes, you have every right you to think? question me. Oh, I guess we can't drown. The enemy. And where do you stand? I see you as an asset. A special tool too great to oh. be wasted. Remendium. Thanks, Daddy. Remendium? I, I don't understand. Hello? Hmm. Intriguing. Intriguing. Well, let's continue. Yogi, <clears throat> is that you? Hmm, something is not quite right around these parts. Ah, it's probably just the wind. Oh, I ain't going that way. Let's go through this rather safe looking passage. Ooh, something felled some trees. We like it when that happens. That's cool. Ooh, a bridge. A bridge too far. Of course. 
Of course. Now we have to make a detour to the lodge. That would have been far too convenient. Never mind. Ooh. Gooey. Rosa, come in. Uh, How was your yeah. flight? Slept like a baby. Mm. Good. What do you have? I like the way they're never honest, are they? It's like, yeah. Blake died, hallucinated, crashed, you know, par for the course, really. Uh, bloody chunk. Hmm. So, what is this? Well, it's got a watch on it, and that definitely looks like an arm to me. I don't think it's a head. Or a torso. Hmm. Could be a head. Actually, I mean that could be intestines, so maybe it's also. <laughs> of course, it's an arm. I'm here all day, folks. Uh, submit. Receiving evidence. A human arm. Ew. See if you can determine how fresh it is. Uh, determine approximate time of kill. Uh, well, we have a watch here, I suppose. Oh, let's turn the light off. Uh, turn the light back on. Right, so it looks like it's February 24th, because it's 12, so it's just ticked over. Let's go for 20, uh, and that's one, two, three, yeah, it's about three minutes past. Three minutes past midnight, because it's ticking over. Excellent. Let's see. February 24th is today, and 12.03 in the morning was less than six hours ago. This mm -hmm. is pretty fresh. You better get a sample and send me the a data. A sample, eh? Why? Sure. Uh, how do we collect a sample, I wonder? Do we just, like, scoop it up? And, like, stick it in the SD card slot or something? Let's not think about that too much. Receiving data. and blood type are definitely human in origin. I'm also detecting concentrations of mineral salts, urea, and urea. amino acids in the sample. It looks like saliva. I need more time to analyze this properly. Keep looking for the lodge. I'll call you back in a few. Alright, buddy. Thanks for your input. I'm not sure that was overly necessary, but sure. It's cool. I mean, it's just a severed chunk. Perhaps... Hmm. The wind is sounding devilish tonight. I like it. He probably just slipped and fell, let's be honest. I mean, what else could it possibly have been? What is our spectrum picking up? Oh, also, collectibles. We've got six responses to get, four left. We've got three antennas. And no emitters. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, no emitters. I can live with that. Now, what have we got out here on these frozen wastes? Hmm. Okay, this is unexpected. Your spectrometer is picking up concentrations of formaldehyde. This should be interesting. Yes. FYI, I'm still working on that saliva sample. Fair play. You do that. Yeah, I reckon he slipped and fell. Had to chew off his own arm. That's the only logical explanation. Surely. Oh, this looks safe. Yeah, this looks extremely safe. Um, I guess it was. It was... Yogi! I guess Yogi is out there somewhere. Ethan, take a look at your field kit. I found elevated traces of arginine vasopressin in the saliva. Very Again in English, please. Arginine vasopressin is an amino acid that naturally occurs in mammals and is typically triggered by dehydration. Huh. Dehydration? With all the snow? You think someone is torturing animals? Depriving them of water? That's just stupid. Where does Argentine vasopressin come from? Well, just kind of explain that, Ethan. 
Dehydration with all this snow. Well, if we are dealing with a bear, it could be rabies. Which is great. But we're not dealing with a bear, surely. As we said, the gentleman slipped and fell, had to chew off his own arm. Dehydration? With all this snow? Dehydration can also be caused by disease. Kidney failure, dysentery, hydrophobia. Hydrophobia, yeah. By the way, Ethan, hydrophobia is the later stages mm. of rabies. So watch yourself. Yes, the fear of water. It's kind of strange when you think about it. Really freaking strange. Uh, me and the ex used to spend a lot of time looking up serial killers and uh, like weird diseases and stuff. We're your perfectly normal necrophiliacs. I mean, what? Ooh. More icy water. Excellent. Wonderbar. I'm sure this is safe. Let's go running on the icy lake. What's the worst that could happen? Apparently nothing. Well, that's good. Excellent. Well, we must be near our destination. Here we are. Enter service building. Service building? Is this really a service building? Well, there's our drums of formaldehyde. But for what purpose? Hey, right, buddy. Did you have to chew your own arm off, did you? Well, that was unwise. I don't think your your footwear are quite Rosa, up I to scratch. Can you make an ID? Look, there you go. There's a problem. His uh, his boots have no tread on them. Very silly. Very silly. Right, let's have a little look. Well, looking at the chest area and the face, I think we can assume that this is a male. Although in the age of everybody being offended, only having the two choices would probably get the developers shot these days. Um, let's go with male. Uh, he's definitely S. Oh no, he's a park ranger. Ah, firefighter, how stupid of me. He is, of course, SCU. Um... What wallet? Okay, well we'll collect the wallet. Boots are perfectly clean, medium size, and tied. That has no relevance to our situation right here. Aerosol, broken, empty, pump, lever spray. That looks like it's broken because there's no there's no lever spray there. So I think we're onto something here. This has got to be an important clue. Uh, I don't know if it's empty. It's definitely not an aerosol. Nah, we better be smart. Let's go for the wallet. That you can just about see. Ah, uh, the name tag. Special Agent something. Beginning with D. Special Agent Dick Payne. That would be a badass. Or oh, Dick Burns, of course. Yes. <laughs> I'm 32, honest. Um, This guy is, of course... Yeah, that looks like the closest match. Payant. D Payant. Sure. I know this name. One of Dorland's mm -hmm. men. Very odd. Very Nobody but you should be well. there. I'm starting to get a bad mm, Me too. This. Hell of a time to change your mind. Search the main lodge, then get the heck out of there. I can't get into it right now, but Ooh. something that's a potent too. coffee. Right. So, what are we up to? Three responses. Excellent. So we're already halfway there. Wunderbar. And you know, uh, the sound design in this game is really freaking good. It really is. Uh, I can't remember the ending of this game. I, I can't remember if it if it's a satisfactory ending or if there's some kind of cliffhanger. Yeah, it's probably the wind. Um, hopefully, it is a rather 
conclusive ending. If not, then it would be really nice to see a third game. But I don't think we're going to get a third game. But you never know. Sega has been on form of late. Kind of, anyway. They are moving in the right direction. Let's, let's leave it at that. Definitely windy upstairs. Curious. Ooh. I guess that would explain the formaldehyde. Possibly. They're tanning creatures. Making pelts. I guess that's... Uh, ooh. You know, maybe that's not the wind. Maybe. Who knows at this point? Could be anything up there. Could be zombie Jesus for all we know. And I think we're going in the right direction. Ooh. All right there, Chief. Something strange is definitely going on. Hey bud. You don't you don't quite look your best. Hmm. He appears to be missing his uh his his lower half. Ah, that's must be it. Must have climbed up on that. Cut himself in half, yes. Yes. Oh, unless there's a crazed deer upstairs. Because they were talking about uh, crazy deers, weren't they? Yes. Or a special type of deer, anyway. Let's keep going. Ooh. Lovely. Very nice. Very nice. I like what you've done with this place. Lots of red. You know, black and red is my favorite combination. Also, apparently, black and red is uh, psychopathic. Um, it's a favorite amongst serial killers. Yeah, just some uh, useless trivia there for you. Oh. Well, I guess mystery solved. Huh. Looks like we have an oversized gerbil running around. Could have been a guinea pig. Yes, maybe a guinea pig. <laughs> Zombie bears. What nonsense, honestly. Ooh. Right there, buddy. You having a... You having a good time? He's probably drunk. I don't think he was savaged by by anything other than his own poor decisions. Ooh, we have a hole. You can go down the hall. Hmm. Well, finally here. And we have a zombie gerbil friend. Let's uh, not wait around for him to tickle us uh, with his crazy do. Hello, right, buddy. Um, who let you out? Do you have rabies? Yeah. Possibly, with all that drool. You, you have rabies, sir. Uh, I don't really want rabies, if I'm honest. It's not exactly high on my list of priorities. Of all the fun diseases to get. Oh dear. Yep. It looks like Yogi has inhabited this place. I think he's going to be a little bit of a pain in our side. But it's... Oh, hello. But it's okay. It's alright. Ethan is a hardened veteran of some description. Okay. Some sort of resonance. Almost a abnormal mm. quality. The likes the world has never seen. One moment, Professor. One moment. Had. No, 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 dear lady, you misunderstand. It is of this world, but we don't have the technology. The 
the capability to make this form of Explain but yourself. Yes, yes, someone did. But it couldn't have been any known technologically advanced country that we are over. There must be some faction, some unknown group that has taken energy to a new level. But for what purpose? And where is this metal sample now, Professor? It is, regrettably. Yes, that sounds legit. I like that, she just cuts him off. She's like, this guy's talking a load of old ass. So, it appears that this metal is some special formula. The Damascus steel. It obviously is not. That. Some kind of special formula. Hmm. That resonates. That people seem to be, um... Oh, shit. Yogi, no. My picnic basket. Get your own. Um, close the door. Probably a good idea. Fuck you, Yogi. Run. Oof. That's as close as it gets. Now, as I was saying, fuck off, bear. Like, seriously, you'd make a fine rug. A diseased rug. But a rug... Nonetheless, saved by the bathtub. So yeah, this this metal is resonating. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. What time are we on? Twenty three minutes already. Unbelievable. Uh, is resonating with people. Um, some kind of frequency, which is driving everybody crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. All right, buddy. Who are you, and what do you want? What the fuck are you guys doing up here? Shut up. Take this. Uh, not bad. Oh, great. Well, I can see where this is going. Hey, Yogi. Bon appetit. I think... Ooh. Doesn't sound like Yogi brought the farm. However, somebody is dragging us around. Who's saving our ass? I'm picking up a strange radio conversation from your area. Or are we dragging ourselves? Going on up there. It looks like the target is still alive. What? Fuck! All right, continue with your objective. Under no circumstances should any part of Van Horn's library ever leave that mountain. Is that Ooh. clear? Yes, sir. And the target. Eliminate him. He can't be allowed to interfere with our plans any more than he hmm. has. Uh, yes. What are these guys up to? I don't understand. Be a sanctioned SCU operation, but they're using an SCU frequency. Well, that's Find stupid of them. But do it carefully and quickly. Or maybe, oh wow, how do we get here? And it looks like we've lost 200% uh, of our blood. You know, let's not think about that too much. A wizard did it, remember? Let's get out of here. Unless somebody did save us. But who? Well, we may never know. Road closed. Hmm. That's convenient. Let's turn our light off. Oh. Hey, Yogi. You should be dead. Like, proper dead. We blew you up. Which was awfully convenient that that uh, that was set up perfectly for us. I mean, you know, maybe the gods have uh, have their plan for us. Okay, back inside. Ah, okay. Hopefully, there's no more flipping bears or werewolves or gerbils running around the place. All right, sneak. Oh, you know. Did you, 
Are you the one that saved me? Go there, buddy. I'm afraid I have to do this, because... Ooh. Um, well, I guess... Ooh. Nice. Cheers, pal. I guess we had to strangle him because there's nothing else we could do. What time are we on? 27 minutes. Oh, dear. That's... That's interesting. Rosa, I found the door to the library, but it seems to be rigged with some sort of device. Possibly. Possibly. Explosive. An oh, explosive. Crazy, Possibly. Can you give me more information? Um, it's got flashing lights and buttons. And there's some wires and some batteries or canisters or something. Uh, it's got a 12 volt thing and it's got a 120 volt thing and it, oh that's useful it has the name of the device embossed on the case that is that is rather great so that is obviously on the other side of the case which means that is reversed D M T uh, D E T M 12 X because obviously it's back to front. Give me a minute to look up this number. Wow, a DETM twelve. That one. Class A, high power detonator used to control multiple Ooh, blast dear. points. Real hardcore stuff. If you see a blinking LED, it means the detonator. Uh, we have is three of them. And that's a problem. Ethan, you'll need to find and dispose of all the remote blast points before you can even breathe on Noted. that detonator. The system is linked together by pneumatic tubes filled with a gas that glows under UV lighting. This should make finding the blast points easier. So, okay. Well, there's no tubes coming off this thing. Also, you would think... Yes, we have invisible tubes. Which is something I don't really understand. I genuinely don't understand how these tubes are invisible. But a wizard did it, I guess. Right, well, most of them go, ooh, I hear movement. Oh, yep. Hey, guys. I wouldn't stick your head through this window. Where did you learn your training? Or where did you get taught your training? Words are hard, but bullets are easy. Where are you? Hunting the most dangerous thing. Man. He is. Ah, shit. Sir. You are a moron. And I appreciate the fact that you're a moron. Right, so let's go downstairs first. I don't know if there's an order we have to do this. I guess it doesn't really matter. How many rounds have we got? We've got plenty. So let's holster that bad boy. And pick up a spare. Oh, well. Let's use this one. Okay. Well. We are now on half an hour, my friends. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this video here. Actually, I think if we walk through this door... Nope, I thought this door was like a save point. I guess not. Um, maybe this door is... I'm sure one of these doors is a save point. Oh, there we go. Excellent. So, when we come back, guys, uh, we're going to do a little bit of bomb disposal. Uh, what could possibly go wrong, eh? We're going to get pissed up and throw bombs around. Mm. Could be worse. I don't know how, but it could be worse. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.